as a weaver, maybe I can help you out. On a loom, there are many threads wandering through, connecting with others. If something goes wrong with them, we then need to follow the thread through to find a source of the problem. Maybe we two, working together, can tease out your missing thread and fix your garment. Let me see if I've got the threads of your problem right, and then we can untangle them. All right, I'll work with you on this. Galley was amused by the weaving analogies. was interested in what a different approach might bring. I think that your different views on this problem may indeed point the way to a solution. We're happy to see what you can come up with. Very well, let me examine each thread. Viva started to spell out the problem. Streams join up to form rivers, and these in turn go into the sea. And this is a very large area of water, with both animals and plants living in it, just like the soil around the forsaken does. Yes, that is correct, Dali responded, and Weaver paused, seeming to wait confirmation from Gaia. Then, in this sea, the number of animals and plants are in balance, and you are thinking that something disturbed this balance and killed off the animals. You originally thought whatever was washed down the rivers caused the animals to die. You say the deaths didn't happen straight away, so what would happen if instead of the animals dying, the plants died? Then the animals become hungry and die. Would that not be the answer? It's certainly more likely, but even still the time is too short. If the plants died, the animals would die very shortly afterwards. Most animals cannot survive for very long without food. The disruption to their food supply to cause the death on such a scale would have had to be massive. The forsaken would have noticed the smell again a lot earlier than they did. Hmm, very well. Weaver paused deep in thought for a moment. Sometimes in the wave, the problem isn't caused by a missing thread, but one too many. What happens if your thing that was washed out was not harmful, but instead was beneficial? What would happen, let's say, instead of killing off the plants, the thing caused them to grow faster and bigger than before? What would happen then? I think you may have something there, Carla said excitedly. I think you really have it. You're brilliant. Let me talk this one through. The plant life getting a boost with more food to eat. The animals grow and breed rapidly, and there are more animals to eat the increased food supply. And this will continue until the balance of animals and plants is restored. But then, if whatever caused the plants to grow rapidly was only temporary due to the rains, and the supply of nutrients, or whatever it was, was cut off, the plants then return to normal growth. But by then, you have a larger number of animals from chasing a diminishing food supply. The animals then eat up all the plants, they can't find any more plants to eat. No more plants to eat, the animals die of starvation. Weaver, you're a genius, you've solved it. You and your loom are a scientific marvel.